and sustained person-to-person -person spread is concerning. These factors meet two of the criteria of a pandemic. Part of the mitigation planning is the anticipation of potential community spread in the United States. And as that, when that, as that happens, it would certainly dramatically impact how we're considering who is um, at risk for a case. We have for many weeks been saying that while we hope this is not going to be severe, we are planning as if it is. Receiving your hand. Receiving your hand. Receiving your hand. Yes, yeah, so the answer to the first question is certainly we're considering what the spread of illness in other countries looks like. As you can imagine, the symptoms of novel coronavirus look a lot like other viral respiratory diseases that are circulating this time of year, and so it's going to be difficult for clinicians to differentiate solely on the basis of those um, uh, solely on the um, uh, basis of the symptoms. That disease is the pebble. That disease is the pebble. That disease is the pebble. The President's early and decisive actions, including travel restrictions, have succeeded in buying us incredibly valuable time. This has helped us contain the spread of the virus. First, robust clinical trial data demonstrate that the current COVID-19 vaccines are highly effective at protecting vaccinated people against severe illness, hospitalization, or death from COVID-19. <laughs> However, there is still a small risk that vaccinated people could become infected with milder or asymptomatic disease. When we all, what we all recognize to be the overall benefits of resuming everyday activities and getting back to something, to some of the things we love in life. It's against this backdrop and the current state of the pandemic that we have developed these new recommendations. <laughs> However, we remain in the midst of a serious pandemic, and still over 90% of our population is not fully vaccinated, though we are working hard to get there. Ms. Hadley, Ms. Hadley, Ms. Hadley, Ms. Hadley, Ms. Hadley. 